Okay, this next group of problems asks us to determine the present value. Now, the minute we start doing present value, we know that this amount will be less than this amount. Present value is called discounting. So that's what we're doing, we're discounting. So, if you do something and you end up with a present value that's larger than the future value, you did something wrong. Now, we could do exactly like we did before. We could go to the present value chart, and our first one tells us that our interest rate is 4%. That's that column, and it tells us that our compounding periods are 10, so we come up with that number right there, a little tiny, you may not be able to see it. It's 0.67556. So we will simply take 0 0.67556, 0.67556 times the future amount, 33000 and it tells us $22,293.48. $22,293.48. In other words, we're answering this question. If we need $33,000, 10 periods from now, 10 years, 10 quarters, whatever, however it's compounded, and we can get 4% interest, how much do we need to put in the bank now? Now, we can also do this using a calculator, and I happen to prefer to do it in a calculator. It's a little, seems to be a little, I don't know if it's easier, but it just works better for me. So, Digging out our trusted TI-83, let's go. Apps, finance, time value of money solver. Now our N is not 10 for our second one, our N is 18. Our interest rate is 20. We're looking for the present value, so we leave that blank. We're not making annual payments. We know that our future value will be 27,000. And that's the information we need. We're looking for the present value. We're not making any payments. So, second, quit. Apps, finance, time value of money solver. I did something goofy again, sorry. Second, quit, apps, finance. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you, I gotta pick which one. Sorry, we're looking for present value. So present value is option four, TVM, time value money, four. Four, present value, enter. It tells us if we put 1,000, $14.15 away now. And if we wait 18 years and we can get 20%, we will end up with $27,000. Discounting. This will always be less. So let's do the next one. We'll start by clearing. And apps. Finance. Time value of money solver. Our N in this one is 20. Our interest rate in this one is 8. We're looking for the present value. We're not making any payments. We know at the end the future value will be 38,000. That's the information we need. 
Second mode, quit. Apps, finance. And now we're looking for the present value. So that's option number four. Enter. $8,152.83. $8,152.83 today is at the same amount of money as $38,000 20 years from today at 8%. And the last one, again, apps, finance, time value of money solver, and we have to put in our N is 12. Our interest rate now is also 12. Present value is what we're looking for. We're not making annual payments. It's a one-time sum. We're looking for the future value $53,000, second mode quit, apps, finance, option four, present value, enter, $13,603.78. So, $13,603.78 at 12% for 12 years is exactly the same amount as $53,000 then.